Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to look at Israel's king that comes riding on a coat. We can find this in all the Gospels, in St. Matthew, in St. Mark, in St. John, and in St. Luke. But today we will look at Luke's account. What did he say about this king that comes riding on the coat, St. Luke 19, 28 through 40. What Luke tells us is that less than a week before they would crucify Jesus, the people of Jerusalem welcomed him. They treated him with a, a such great passion. They loved his wisdom. And so because of that, on this last entrance into the holy city during his earthly ministry, Israel's true king rode not on a chariot or on a charging stallion, but on a donkey. It was now the Sunday before the crucifixion. And that week is called Passion Week. Jesus drew near to the eastern slopes of Mount Olives. He was en route to Jerusalem. When he drew near to Bethpage in Bethany, he sent two of his disciples into a village to get a colt for his entrance into Jerusalem. He told them exactly where they would find the animal and what the owner would even say after the disciples had explained their mission the owners seemed quite willing to release their colt for the need that jesus wanted it perhaps they have been blessed previously by his ministry and maybe I'd said to him, listen, if we can be of any assistance to you whenever you need it, surely you can have it. So the disciples made a cushion, a saddle for the Lord with their own clothing. The Bible says many spread their clothes on the road, like, you know, like a red carpet welcome. When we look at St. Mark 11, 1 to 11, St. Mark tells us that they wave palm branches. And so the people, as they gathered, they were gathered maybe for different reasons. He had raised the Lazarus from the dead and they have heard about it. So some wanted to see who is this person that raised Lazarus from the dead. And of course, some wanted to kill him for that. But there were the people who were just coming to the festival to celebrate. So there were lots of people. And then they decided, listen, we want to be a part of this uh, parade. So as they see Jesus, as he ascended from the western base of the Mount of Olives to Jerusalem, with one accord, these people who were following, burst into praise for all the mighty works that they had seen him do. They hailed him as the king and chanted that what? The effect of his coming was peace in heaven and glory in the highest. It is significant that they didn't cry peace in heaven rather they they didn't cry peace on earth but rather peace in heaven because there is always peace in heaven but on earth now they would in another few days crucify the prince of peace the prince of peace would be rejected the Prince of Peace would be scorned. 
the Prince of Peace would be slain. But there would be peace in heaven as a what? Result of his impending death. The death that he would die on the cross of Calvary for fallen men and women. The Pharisees were indignant that Jesus should be publicly honored. They were indignant because the people were now saying, yes, this is the king, the one who should come and rule on David's throne because it was predicted in Zechariah 9 and verse 9. They also have a prediction in Psalm 118 verse 26. So they were now saying, yes, it is true. This is E, and they were upset. He was acknowledged as king. As the people cried, Hosanna, recognizing that he was the promised Messiah. Psalm 118, 26. That predicted that Jesus would sit upon the throne of David. So they cried, Hosanna in the highest. In Mark 11, he tells us that they wave palm branches as they cried, as they shout praises unto him. It was a call to praise the Lord in the highest heaven. For he is the one who saves from the highest heaven. He is the one that delivers he comes from the highest heaven and therefore praise and adoration is due unto him. Even as we sing today, we sing Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with a heart full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord or God, for your Hosanna in the highest today let's give to him the highest praise because he is worthy so whether we wave palm branches or whether we sing hosanna in the highest surely he is the one who came to save us from our sins god bless you thank you again for watching please like please subscribe please share and please visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.